Hello everyone, my name's Zertonium, and welcome back to Zertonium Plus One Plays Tokiden 2, the plus one being B. Hello! So here we are. We have finally come to the end of our little Oni showcase with the final final Oni we haven't final new Oni we haven't covered yet. Which happens to be the Tokiwa no Orochi. And of course, um, you can note the fact that there is a variant uh, to the Orochi, which I'm not I'm not gonna say his full name of Tokiwa no Orochi every time. He's, he's just Orochi. Uh, but he has a variant, and it's called the Tenrin Kaija. Which <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yes, you as well. Uh, which, uh, as I was saying, Tenrin Kaija. And of course, once again, the only difference being the elemental affinity, where Orochi is a fire attribute, and the Tenrin Kaija is an earth. So, here he is, in all his glory and majesty. So he's got a lot of parts to him. So basically his main head has one nice big horn on it. And then of course each of his four other heads up top can be destroyed. And of course he's got his two legs and his tail in the back. They can all be destroyed. And then of course... Uh, if I recall you can't fully destroy anything in this phase yet. Uh, when he shifts to his second phase... Uh, both of his legs and his tail actually shift in an interesting way, and they actually gain mouths with teeth, so basically... And if you want to go into the whole lore, Japanese lore, there was the giant, the giant snake demon Orochi, which was said to have eight heads, which if you notice, currently he only has five, but if you count in both his legs and his tail that uh, shift essentially into extra heads. He does actually get eight heads. So, I just found that to be interesting. Um, other things to note is that in his second phase, uh, all of his parts are actually fully destructible with the exception of his main head. Uh, so that means... Now, of course, there's a little bit of caveat to that. Where initially... You can only, and of course I should also say that when he uh, shifts to his second phase, actually I'm not sure, does he regrow the upper heads at all? So I know he does regrow both his legs and his tail, uh, because they actually change into something different. But well, I Well, they just reform into well, heads yes. again, and they can be permabreak, broken after you permabreak the three leg yes. heads. But the thing is, his four non-main heads, does he regrow them uh, when he hits his second phase no. if you've taken them out? Yes, well, I you couldn't... can't break them right now. No, no, but I mean, does he regrow them, though? I'm pretty sure he does. Does he? Hmm. Well, he's going to shift in a moment, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, so initially you can only fully destroy his two legs and tail. And then once you... Oh, and I've been dawdling about... Okay, as long as someone fully destroys one of those. Thank you. Uh, he has some very annoying moves uh, that he is no longer able to perform once you fully destroy either one of his two legs or his uh, tail, which are all now heads. Um, but once you fully destroy both legs and his tail... Uh, he actually sinks his body into the ground, and then when he's in that phase, then you can actually fully destroy all of his uh, remaining heads except for his main head. You don't have your United yet? You know what? No. And, and this, that's... folks, is why I was saying that his DPS lacks. It's speak I'm showing the viewers. <laughs> I have my United now. 
Because, you know, when, when I'm when I'm showing off... How? When I'm showing off, you know, <laughs> the break of... It could quiet you. When I'm showing off what's breakable on the Oni, I'm not attacking them. I stand at a distance, and I use the Eye of Truth. Why am I telling you? <laughs> Any case. So there goes another one. Thank so... <laughs> So he's got about half his health yet. Uh, we just need to, and I think, no. Sitting there, I thought Kamina had it. But, uh, so yeah, we just need to uh, fully destroy his right leg. And uh, then he'll shift, and I'll see. I have not had a very good track record uh, with destroyers as of late, but. Nice. Okay. I actually got his main horn there. Which is a nice... I don't even know why I'm bothering with that. Um, it's it's a nice thing, once again, about the manual targeting. Um, where if you can do that and you have a ranged destroyer, the game will, you know, have a nice lock-on for you so you don't have to aim, really. Which is ever so handy. Oh, very good. So, there we go just in time, so now we can see him in all his glory as he decides to head underground. Just gonna get a nice panoramic view. Well, not pan. We get a nice view of all his sass, so there he goes. And then now he essentially stays like this for the rest of the fight. Although he may pop out for an instant just to basically piss you off. And then goes right back underground. Or I suppose if you break ahead. But yeah, so now now all of his uh, all of his remaining heads, with the exception of his main head, can be fully destroyed. And so then he literally just becomes one single head on just a lump of a mass for a body. And in the end I almost feel sorry for him at that point. No. But <laughs> but then I remember that, you know... The backstabbing prick. As we're, of course, avoiding story spoilers... Hey, I said nothing. That's all I said. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I'm probably... I'm Be pr eh? Eh? I'm probably going to include maybe a spoiler warning on this one. Just because this is technically the final boss... Which, I mean, that's, that's kind of why we did it last. But, uh... Mumble, mumble. Story this, mumble, mumble. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't like spoilers. So, I try to keep things spoiler for you when I can. But, uh... If we're showing off all the bosses, I mean, it was, it was bound to happen. So... But, okay. So, there it is. That's all the Oni, all the new Oni for now. Uh, they, of course, brought back a lot of the old Oni from uh, uh, Age of Demons and Kiwami. But uh, not everything made the cut. And uh, I know there's also DLC. There's a DLC pack which adds uh, a bunch of the Oni from Kiwami. If I'm thinking, I think it was... Potentially the Screecher or Caterwauler, maybe both, and as well as the uh, Minx and Panthera, because uh, I don't believe they're in this game otherwise. Um, I haven't looked at all the DLC packs, but I know that one does exist. Uh, so, but yeah, so here we are at the end of the little run here, and. Uh, it was far less of a struggle this time uh, doing these videos, as of course, as B mentioned, because we uh, farmed ourselves some good gear first, for good measure. Um, but yeah, this this pretty much does our run of Tokiden 2 for now, um, until perhaps, like I said, there there comes an expansion. I use the the term expansion lightly, but. Um, what, whatever he took it into, quote unquote, Kiwami, whatever form it may or may not take, if one even happens. I hope it does, because uh, 
I mean, I wouldn't mind if they added the alt rank in again. Uh, and perhaps even some new, even more, even more new Oni. Or they could just bring back more of the old ones. If any, if they did, I, was, I would personally assume they'd probably do both. Uh, they would add new ones as well as bring back more old ones. Unless they already brought them all back in, like, say, DLC mission packs. But, I digress. Uh, but so, as I said, this, this pretty much ends it. Um, if anyone was interested in trying to challenge us to do anything fun or interesting in uh, in Tokiden 2, we would totally be down for the challenge. So if anyone uh, is thinking of making us do terrible, terrible things, that'll probably anger us. I don't mean to give ideas, but there you go. <laughs> you can bring it on. <laughs> so we got the high spirit right there. Uh, you could just you can leave your suggestions or a challenge down in uh, in the comments below. And since this will be the last one for a while, uh, any closing thoughts, B? Not really. You know me. Quiet is normal. Very good. Those that. That is some, some deep, deep shit right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. Well then, before this drags on too much longer, uh, I would just like to personally thank uh, anyone who stuck with us and uh, watched this through to the end, as well as thank... Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I see what you're doing over there. As well as to thank uh, anyone who may have just popped in for this episode, Lord only knows. Uh, but, so, that'll be it from us for uh, probably for a little while. But uh, who knows what uh, the future may hold. And with that... I'm not sure what you're implying over there. You know, I'm just gonna... Pan the camera over here. <sighs> All right. Well, on that note, you ask for this. <laughs> uh, on that note, one more time. My name's Zertonium. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.